Howdy y'all, Riggs here. Welcome back to Riggs Line Hall here on Riggs Indoors. Um, we're uh, currently taking a trip from Prince George, British Columbia, Canada to Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada. It is 12.17 uh, a.m. The skies are dark and starry, not a cloud in sight. And it will be a bit of a shorter drive uh, than we did in the last episode, which is all right with me. I mean, I enjoy the long drives, but it's good to have a shorter one every once in a while as we embark across the country of Canada. Now, uh, going through everything. So it's going to take us about six and a half hours in game time to get to our destination so it will be roughly 7 a.m. when we arrive we uh, have 13 hours to complete the job and 14 hours so we need another rest stop which uh, we won't be needing to do that so um, what are we hauling we're hauling clothing 30 almost 3500 30,500 pounds of clothing. Okay. That's a lot of clothing. And what kind of trailer is it in? In a FedEx. No, oh, tandem trailer. All right. Let's get this show on the road. Now, we, do we need to... Uh, hold, hold on. Let me close that. There we go. Now I know which way we're going because I can see my GPS. Should probably turn the lights on. Now which one's the lights again? No, that's the wipers. Nope. Nope. Ah, there you go. Lights are on. Oh, perfect. We get a green light like that right away. What more could you ask for? And I took that way too wide. That's okay. We made it in. We did not cross over into the other lane. Ah, oh, come on. Hello, UPS guys. Brown guys. Yeah, that's what I call them. You know, brown guys. I mean, they drive a brown van, they wear a brown uniform. They're the brown guys. All oh, right, we should have taken maybe like a side street there just so we can get the road. But again, we may not be keeping this map mod once we uh, reach the other end of it. Because I want to make sure that it's got a real strong Canadian... Canadian field, not just, you know, that flag that we're going by or the Petra Canada gas station. Oh, look at that. Where's the time on these lights now? Oh, you know, I wish that they could combine, you know, American Truck Simulator, ETS-2, maybe with like a flight sim, a train sim, and a boat sim. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been trying to fight that sneeze off since I started this video. And no, I ain't gonna edit that out because, well, I've gone too long and then I said that line and, well, it is what it is. We all sneeze, right? Good thing that was a bit of a dry one. Don't have snot all over my keyboard, or my monitors, or walls. Or... Ugh. Now, again, I forgot to look at the bloody map. Okay, so, uh... We could have gone Jasper. There was a trip to Jasper, wasn't there? That would have been a neat drive. But instead, we're going through Kamloops, and then we'll go through Golden. And A uh, little tidbit. Uh, here's your dividing line between Alberta and British Columbia. I've uh, been in Calgary 
pretty much my whole life. Uh, spent five years uh, down in this corner of British Columbia when I was really young. Little tidbit for you. But unfortunately, there is nothing that goes down that way. So uh, we won't be checking that out. Um, yeah, it's a pretty much a straight shot down this highway, which we've already been up. Uh, yeah, and then we'll take try and get a job from Kamloops into Calgary. If we have to take a job into Golden or Jasper or Edmonton and come back down, we'll do it. Uh, I wish they'd have Lethbridge in here. That's a major city as far as, you know, going through here. Uh, I mean, even on Highway 1, no medicine hat. That should be right here. Probably this one right here. So, uh, Canada Dream uh, mod maker, map developer, whoever you are, please throw in a Lethbridge and Medicine Hat. They're missing. They should be in here. I mean, if you're going to put Lloyd Minister in, yeah, better put those in. And even Red Deer, that's the big one that's missing. Should be right in between Edmonton and Calgary. Uh, yeah, I mean, Gasoline Alley, it's... Uh, it's a thing, you know, it's a tourist attraction almost, it's a, I'm not, you know, I'm going to shut up now, I can't believe y'all forgot Red Deer, really, I mean, that's probably it right here, is this way station, uh, actually, uh, you know what, that probably is it right there, so come on, put Red Deer on the map, that's probably Gasoline Alley, your representation of, we should have a town or city there. In fact, that probably is gasoline alley with this curve here. So yeah, so red deer should be like right here, right here. Gates Avenue, right down through there. Gates Avenue, Main Street. One everybody knows. Go through, connects. Yes, put a town, call it Red Deer, right here. All right, rent down. I can't believe y'all did that. Yeah, I know, I'm a little bit peeved. Now I don't know what to talk about. Um, I think we're in a Peterbilt. This note, we're in a Volvo. We are in a Volvo. Uh, can't remember the model number, but right now we're just driving whatever. Um, we don't care really what it is except for that little Mack truck right now. Uh, I do want to buy that Mack truck as our first truck. I don't know why I'm not doing 75 here, but I think we're good. We're good on the right, good on the left, good on the right. Let's start turning. Uh, now we can get up to speed. Now, what do y'all want to bet that when they finally do complete the map for American Truck Simulator, and we don't have to be using mods like Coast to Coast and Canada Dream and maybe Viva Mexico. I don't know how far they're going. Uh, I really think they should include Canada. And if they're going to do that, they might as well do Mexico as well. Um, where do you think they're going to go next? I mean, we've already got Europe. Uh, we've, then we'll have North America. Are we going to have South America? Are we going to have Africa? Asia, maybe? How about Australia? Going down under. Where do you, put in the comments below, actually, where do you think that they're going to go after they complete American Truck Simulator? Are they just going to stop, or are they going to bring up something new, and where's it going to be? Uh, personally, I'm hoping that they do something like Australia. I mean, it wouldn't be very big. But what I really want to see is South America. 
but who knows? Maybe that'll be incorporated into American Tech Team. Just, you know, South America, North America, keyword America, right? Not just America, United States of America. I mean, that United States of America. <laughs> But then you gotta incorporate, you know, the Caribbean, bring in Cuba, the Baha uh, Jamaica, Española, which is Haiti and Dominican Republic, uh, the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico. You know, you gotta include all that if you're gonna do that. And you might as well have, you know, Panama and Guatemala. I think all I'm saying is, in the end, I want to be able to sing that song, I've Been Everywhere, by going to all the places in the game. You know what I mean? And I think that might be a challenge. Once we've gone and done our coast to coast, we'll go to as many places as we can that are named in that song. Comment what y'all think about that. Let me know if I should do that. I think that'd be pretty cool. Then you'll be going through the uh, playlist, looking at all the cards, and you'll be, I've been to Reno, Chicago, Fargo, Minnesota, you know, it, why not? And yeah, by the way, I do have that whole song memorized. And if I can get 20 likes on this this particular video I will recite each and every verse for y'all during a, a live stream event and y'all have to cue me into it so as soon as somebody puts in the comments recite that song or something along those lines I don't know what what, when it's going to happen but I will have to have 20 likes on this video otherwise I ain't going to Sarasota actually I don't even think that's on the coast to coast map <laughs> same thing with Diamond Tia, Pasadena, Catalina see what I mean Alright, that's all you got y'all are getting as a tease. Now I think this is gonna be a rather short trip and we might have to pick up another job. Which very well could mean we might be Alberta bound. Which if we are, that's so gonna be the name of the next or of this video. Now, I'm talking about Alberta Bound as in the Good Brothers, not Paul Brandt. No, I'm kidding. I'm talking about Paul Brandt. <laughs> uh, the Good Brothers, they have a very good song called Alberta Bound, but then Paul Brandt has a song called Alberta Bound as well, and it is, I love it, and it is totally fitting for uh, this particular series. In fact, if he's got the song on his official YouTube, I'm going to link it. I'm not going to play it. I'm not going to play like 10 seconds of the song. I will link it in the description below. But it has to be off of his... Whoa. Official YouTube channel. If he has one. I'm not even sure if he has one. Okay, I gotta get by this guy here. Here we go. Well, I'm gonna try and go. Hope I don't have to slam on the brakes. Oh, gotta slam on the brakes. Slamming on the brakes. Well, gotta gosh darn it. Yeah, sorry there, house and your Mustang. Whew. I just didn't want to hit you. Wow. We really slowed down. Well, this, this way we'll be able to get a better run of speed up and 
if we do have to fly past him, we'll be able to fly past him. <clears throat> hey man, his wheels of fire. At least I thought they were on fire. Might just be. Oh no, it's Williams Lake. Which we're not going to get by this guy. No way. You better not be turning too. Thank you. Thank you very plenty. Get our speed back up, 75. So just to check on how we're doing here. Uh, yeah, we're like halfway there. And that only took 15 minutes. So yeah, looks like we might just be starting on another trip. Now, it's not like I want to do a trip across Canada in as few episodes as possible. I want to keep, you know, an even keel with the episodes. And if we're going to do hour-long episodes, might as well do hour-long episodes. And y'all don't hell have to watch it all in one go. Um, y'all have lives. Just, you know, watch 15 minutes pause, come back, you know, after an hour, watch another 15. This road ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I'm glad I was able to uh, start this series off going to Canada as early as we did in the series. Uh, I mean, it's going to give us a lot of money, and I mean, we're not going to be able to get a truck until we get all the way back around, so what I might do is just hop in over to Calgary, and then we'll drive back down to Portland where our garage is, and we'll buy ourselves a new truck. But if there is a job in Kamloops that takes us down to Portland, that's what I'm going to do. And we will get back up into Canada. We will do that trip. I just want to do it in our own truck. If y'all know what I mean. In fact, I wonder if there's a dealer in Kamloops. It looks like there might actually be something here. I believe, oh, it looks like there is a dealer here in Kamloops. So we are going to go and unlock that dealer. Because I am curious to see what it could be. We might just take out a loan today and purchase our first truck. In which case, I might be tempted to do the Kenworth W900. Keep it going. Please turn and get out of my way. You're not turning. Alright, I'm just going to ease up on you here. Get my speed up so I can zip around you. Come on, before that car. Oh no, he's on, okay. We're okay. Now we're definitely overdoing it on the speed, so we'll coast it out.
Now, it, that, if it's a Kenworth dealer, now we might have to wait. Cause I don't know where the, or what cities have what dealer in the can of the map yet. And I'll bet you Vancouver had a Kenworth dealer. So we'll see what they all have at this dealer. We uh, we might just have to buy something and then we'll sell it down the road when we find uh, another Kenworth. But I think the best thing for right now would be to get our own truck and just get our own thing going. I, I want to do series a certain way and when we hit a hundred grand, but you know what, we might just have to start paying down a loan. Ah, come on. Really people, you gotta drive this low below the speed limit. So uh, one thing I'm going to do this weekend is I'm going to buckle down and I'm going to start doing some skinning. That way, uh, if we do have to buy a truck that I don't have a skin done for, well, we'll have one come Monday, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to do a few different variants if I can. I just got to remember how to do it. We're turning left, heading to Kamloops. Alright, coming out. There we go. Uh, will I put my custom skins on the Steam Workshop? Y'all have to ask for them. I don't mean just one person asking for it. I need to get a lot of people asking for it if for that to happen. And I will do it, but I do want to have the, my skins as close to my series. I don't want some other series using my skins. Hey, uh, then again, it's a great nod off to me, right? But they, I want to keep them closer for now. Maybe down the road we will release them. We'll see. But if I have a lot of people asking for them, like right away, then. Yeah, I'll put them out. That's definitely something that needs to be fixed is the AI traffic driving so far below the limit. Because I hate having to pull unsafe passing maneuvers. Oh, yeah, you divided highway. And we are in Kamloops, boys and girls. And it didn't take a full 30 minutes like I thought it would. Now, let's see what town this might look like. As I find that with a lot of these map mods, they take these towns from the towns we know from American Chuck Simulator. But I mean, now we have the Oregon expansion. Uh, we, we got California, Nevada, or no, Nevada? Yeah, Nevada, New Mexico. So, you know, it could look like any of them. Or it could be a mix match. I don't know what's going on here. All right, in the comments below, y'all tell me what uh, town or city this is out of American Check Simulator base. All right, we're turning here. We gotta unlock that garage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are we going backwards? Do not turn red. It's a Kenworth dealer, boys. Yes. That, that's a good sign. That's a very good sign. Although it is, uh, there you go. 
glitching out on me. This looks like a 100% custom built city. I mean, even a Petrocan at a gas station. We're not going to see those down in the American portion of the map. That is awesome. Now, I could very well be wrong, and this could actually be uh, a pull from another city. So, again, y'all tell me what it is. Shiny takeout. There's a coin laundry right next to it. That is so predictable. I'm going to forget I saw that sign. Oh, oh, man, there's one over there, too. No, I don't want a tail. There we go. Oh, that was close. Wow, a lot of bars in this town. Okay, do not turn yellow or red until I'm around the corner. Thank you. Oh, boy. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I think we're pulling in right here. Yes, we are. Alright, where should I place it? As usual. Oh, this one actually might be a bit of a challenge. Ryan, straighten out, straighten out, straighten out. I don't want to back you up. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Get it? Ah, oh. close enough. All right, I'm not even gonna look at that. Uh, we're not gonna upgrade anything yet. It doesn't really matter. We don't have our own truck yet, but we're about to. Uh, truck dealers right there. Oh man, this map is just absolutely huge. I love it. I absolutely love the size of this map. And I can't wait to get down into Texas. Uh, lots of places to visit down there. Uh, that There's no dealer in Calgary. Wow. That's a shame. Cause I know there's a Kenworth dealer in Calgary in real life. I, I know exactly where it is. Uh, visit selected dealer. What do you mean travel? We're already there. Oh, wait a minute. So we have $57,000. Uh, I forgot to do one thing. We're going to take out the biggest loan we can. So let's go to the bank here. We need to do $5,000 a day in game if we're going to do this. I was paid back in 70 days. We got a little bit of change in the bank already. So that should help us out for the days we don't do it. Let's do it. I mean, we're taking a huge gamble here. Uh, in the comments below, tell me if I did the wrong thing right now. Because <laughs> we went and done it. Oh, boy. Check dealer. Maybe we should do a, a trailer as well, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know yet. Uh, all right. Now, this is getting into it here. Now, here's the W900 day cab, which we have unlocked. Let's 
T680 Diddy Day Cab. No, Alright. We, we can do that. Now. Available. Okay, not available. Alright. So, uh, we're going to the Mac. Let's just see what this is going to cost us to do that. So, we're going to customize that configuration uh, a fair bit here. Don't, nothing to unlock there. Uh, 200 gallon tank. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Now, as far as the transmission goes, uh, not the most power. You know what? I'm going to do oh, the Packer. But then this one does a little bit better. This one is cat. But this one has the highest horsepower. You know what? We're going to do the Packer. Right now. We're looking at 121,000. That's not too bad. Uh, sorry, that was the motor. Now we're getting in transmission. Uh, we're going to throw this one in there. Uh, interior will leave like that. What's this one? Can't, can't tell me what that is. Uh, I do like those custom blue gauges. Uh, that is a mod that I'm running. As far as this goes, uh, where are they? Oh, there they are. And we want the white or the blue? We want the blue. Heck yeah. And I love the back of it too. Oh yeah. Now this will be our truck for now. Uh, although what does this look like? Oh, <laughs> now that is, oh, oh yeah. I like that too. That looks pretty good. And oh, I love that. Uh, I'm a huge police supporter. And this uh, is something I will be driving at some point. Is just this skin. Uh, it won't be right now. I want to have more of it unlocked. Um, that's pretty nifty. Uh, let's look at some of these other ones down here. Uh, they are kind of pricey. So uh, it's not Christmas. So we can, I mean, we can look at them. We're not going to buy them. Uh, yeah. And X for Christmas, and I do like that. That's pretty cool. Now I wonder what would happen if we change this color to more of a blue. Oh, that looks even better. That looks even better. All right, um, moving on. That's kind of nifty. We could change the colors up a bit, and I mean, y'all know I love blue. So I mean, let's go blue with that. Change that red to a white. Oh yeah. Now we get this instead of an orange. We'll go uh, back to red. Yeah. Uh, actually, there you go. Do that shade of red. And then this one we'll just change to a lighter yellow. Just like that. I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty nifty. Well, y'all know which one I want. It's going to be this one. Took me a long time to set this thing up, too. Of course, I could probably do it quicker now. Alrighty, so accessories. So we want a metal bug deflector. Uh, we're not going to put those mirrors on. Don't need them. We want the metal fender guards. We want to have a custom flag in here. I'll just see what it would look like there. Uh, we'll get rid of that. We're going to do that. And we're going to put some lights on it. We have to. Uh, we don't want anything that flashes. We don't want a side light. Uh, those are too big. You know what? We're going to throw on that one. On each. Last. One. Or is that too much? That's way too much. 
Now, I might have to uh, reinstall Sissel's Mega Pack because I think there's some better choices of some lights, some uh, smaller ones. So, uh, we will uh, figure that out, but we're going to have that on there for now. Uh, wants legs. We want tires. Tires, tires, tires. Uh, what I want to run is... Which one was it? It's got to be down at the bottom here. Uh, was it this guy? No, it wasn't it. It's way too small. Was it the Pirellis? Definitely not. It had to have been the Goodrich. There it is. So the ST230s. Now, we'll have to pay back some of that loan, I think. All right, we want front rims now. We're going to put on some standard chrome rims for now. Uh, we will eventually buy a new truck. I mean, we're just going to pimp this truck out for now. Uh, put that on. And uh, standard paint. Yeah, let's put on some blue rims here. So, going black. Uh, we'll throw on standard chrome. Oh, didn't matter. It didn't matter. Alright, uh, next one here. Air filters. Put the nodes on there. Huh. Let's try, I mean, that's a flashing beacon, beacon though. We don't... Uh, let's try it. And see what happens. In fact, yeah. Put that one on? Nope. That just does that. Nope. No. You know what? Let's put the LED side lights on. There we go. Now I can get it better. Uh, there you go. Just started from the bottom. That's what I'm going to redo here. Why aren't those lit up? We are not heading to Alberta in this one. We'll have to find a job, of course. Uh, all right. Yeah, we got those all done. Let's uh, set up our exhaust. We got plane stacks. I'm fine with that. Get these guys up now, which it was all the way down near the bottom. Where is it? Okay, we don't have the same ones. Uh, so, what was the size up front here? Oops, wrong one. That's T230, so 30, uh, 31580s. 31580s, come on. I mean, got those, but they're winter ties. Perfectly suited for Canada, but, uh, no. Well, I think the closest thing we're going to get is these Roadmasters here, so that's what we'll do. Uh, standard chrome. Chrome caps. T230. 
keep it standard or standard paint we'll go black again okay, take a closer cover let me get this guy up where's them road maskers at You know what? Swap one of these. So 31570s Goodyear Marathon 2s. Uh, where is it? Right, so saw it. Where did it go? There it is. Alright. Perfect. And then we'll go standard chrome. Chrome cat, paint, paint it black, go with that closer cover, change out the mud flaps, I really actually like the white mud flaps, don't ask me why, uh, I just do that, uh, I think we're good, uh, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and put, or try these out, uh, to see if they actually work, so uh, the side light, let's see what that actually looks like. You know what? I can live with it. I can live with it. We're going to light it up. Dude, pin my truck. <laughs> Might as well. Yep. Missed one right there. Oh, damn, I missed one there. No, I didn't. Perfect. Now, up top. Okay, so, uh, driver's plate we don't need. You want a window flag? No. No, we don't need that. Um, that's another window flag. Standard sun shield. Why not? Actually, you know what? I'm going to take that off. We don't need it. Cabin lights. Yes, we want the light adapter. Because I'm going to put on. I think I'm going to go with. I'm not going to use a heller. We actually do that. What does that look like? You know what? We're going to do that. Yeah, I like it. I mean, we don't have to put a beacon on. Horns, we got that. Man, we could have just done this. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Can we go bigger? Yeah. What does this one look like? Yeah, you know what? I like that better. So, uh, we're going to do that. Take everything off. And we're going to put it back on. Oh, come on. You kidding me? Go away. Go away. Okay, so that one's already got something there. So we'll leave it. But I think we're going to go back with the Lumen Mark 2. There it is. Or Mark 1. That's what we have up there already. We have a lot of lights on this truck. Uh, why did that go away? All right. I think we're set up. Now, this is going to cost us a pretty penny. Oh, wait. We still got the interior to do. And, yeah, we're going to need to do that. So, air filters. Front mirrors. We're good. Uh, don't need that. Steering wheel. Get us a blue one. I will keep it. Ooh, that's pretty. You know, I'm just going to keep it Kenworth Modern. 
There's an accessory slot on it. Uh, that's interesting. Don't know what the purpose would be. I mean, eh, really? Really? Yeah, goodbye. We don't need any of that. Uh, is that a GPS center? That's what I need to know. Hopefully it is. Don't miss driver's plate. What can we put there? Oh, we should actually uh, do that. So yes, I'm putting it on the co-driver's side. Actually, no, we want a telepass device. Is that gonna really block our view? Yeah, it's gonna block our view. We're not gonna do that, go away. Uh, anything else cool we can put there? No, all right. Hopefully this screen turns out to be a GPS because we can't put anything else here. Uh, yeah. Going to confirm that. Now we didn't need to make that big of a loan, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to purchase this truck. I can't believe we just bought a truck. Can y'all believe that? We spent 15 minutes checking it out. Well, I think, I don't know if I made that a mistake or not, but we got plenty of cash. We got to pay off. Uh, it'll pay itself off for the most part. It's not like we're broke, but we could end up being broke by the time we're done. Uh, are we going to load up into the map? Thank you. And don't tell me it started us. Oh, my God. It started this all the way back at our garage, our headquarters. Oh no! I had a feeling that that was gonna happen. So, while we uh, check out our HQ here, uh, okay, this is just fantastic. All right, let's just check this out. Job market. Now, what I might have to do is uh, cheat a little bit. And we were in Kamloops. So we'll see what we got for trips coming out of Kamloops. Are you kidding me? Don't tell me I have to go back at Prince George. Jasper. This sucks. All right, if we take a trip out of Portland, where can we go? All right, we can do trip up to Vancouver, British Columbia, and hopefully get a job in the Calgary from there. Although that might be tempting. We've gone to Newport enough. Oh, that's cool. But again, we don't want to go back to Newport. Where's Twin Falls? No. Well, there is this too. That's going to give us plenty of cash. So we will set that as a GPS destination. And on the next one, y'all, we uh, will definitely try to make things work and do that trip across Canada. At least start it. Now, I might change my mind. And I hate those glowing red hot wheels. They're very distracting. So anyway, until next time. Catch y'all later.